Okay, what I wanted to show today is here I smashed this so you can see it's a bit dirty. Um, high winds today, 20 plus miles per hour. I wrinkled it, but with the new design where I put the uh, ruler down the middle of the plane and I strengthened it up with um, tongue depressors here, it's extremely durable. It took a hit this way and you can see it even uh, cartwheeled, but um, it did wrinkle here a bit, but this kept it from accordioning, like going accordion. And uh, also the uh, the ruler kept it from the frame from bending. It's got a few wrinkles, but it still flies great. And what I wanted to show is uh, how it would fly in winds that are uh, 20 plus. And that's what we got today. Right now, it's between. It's ranging between like 15 and 20 something. I've had a few bursts where it's even in the high 20s. And <coughs> what I want to show is uh, by stiffening the wing up, it, you can also fly this thing in high winds. You don't really have to worry about um, if you damage it. That's the whole idea of the plane design. Is uh, You can just rebuild it if you, if you do mess it up a bit like I did today. It's no big deal. going by me all that fast. I have it at full throttle the whole time because of the wind. You can see it's pretty, pretty darn windy. But the wind, although it affects it, it doesn't keep me from flying. But what's fun is it does build up your skill. If you're flying a slow flyer, Uh, tipping your wing It's going to be no problem. You'll be quite skilled at flying <laughs> if you take this one out in high winds. But I wanted to just show here with the um, making the wing more rigid just how nice it flies even in high winds. Stuff that would really affect most planes. I don't know of any planes that could fly in this kind of wind, especially where it's gusty. Um, I'm seeing this thing, I don't know how well it's going to come across in the camera, but you can see it shuddering from the wind. The wind is not even. It's gusting. I got a few trees over there, and uh, they tend to mess with the uh, wind a little bit. But even still, this, this the wind cuts it real nice. I find if you're going vertical and high winds, if you spin the plane, it'll keep a straighter path. Also. So you see the wind, very little affects this wing. Um, I mean, it's gonna be more challenging, don't get me wrong. You got to really learn how to aggressively cut the wind. In other words, the wind's coming at me right now, right in my face. So if I'm turning into the wind, I'm going to do more where I loop up or down and less like this, where I'm coming at it sideways. If I am, you got to come at it with some high G's in that turn. Otherwise, the wind can easily knock the plane over and smash it right into the ground. And that actually is what I did earlier today uh, when I cartwheeled it, messed the wing up a little bit. 
but I thought that would be an ideal way to show you what I was talking about, about the durability of the plane. Because I cartwheeled this at about, you know, 90 miles an hour. And, um, although it cartwheeled about 8 or 10 times, it just bent up a little. And it actually is, you can see it's flying just great. Um, without that ruler going down the, uh, the inside of the plane, tongue depressors down the middle they keep it from accordioning from the front but also they keep it from uh, folding in the middle it really strengthens up the middle of the plane where you have the most stress so I'll bring it in you can take a look at it again uh, you could even glide this thing in in high winds just be aware it isn't going to glide very far the wing loading is such on this plane though that um, Basically, you can bring it in if you nose it down a bit. Uh, it's a very heavy plane for the size of the wing. So it has excellent uh, penetration in the wind, um, whereas other planes, they get blown back quite easily. This one will if you kite it. If you turn it this way, you're coming, it'll get blown back on you. So you gotta always cut the wind. You wanna be very aggressive in the way that you cut the wind when you're flying in this kind of wind. Now you can see, I got the trees blowing over there. Um, I have my wind sock, it's fully out. I'm guessing it's in the, it's anywhere from 15 to 25 is my guess today. It's, it's just it's just ranging in that area. Right now it's a little low. And now as you can see, it's just gusting up again. And it's really hard weather to fly in with most planes. This one, it's, I won't lie to you, it's difficult. It's gonna be challenging for you, but um, it's quite doable. You know, anything 25 miles per hour or less with the high high speed flyer, as long as you're good at flying it and you're doing the six by six prop, you just gotta fly full throttle the whole time. So, wanted to show you that even with wrinkles, even, you know, the way that this one's designed now, it'll still fly great. You can get a bunch of crashes out of it, still fly. I don't know any other plane that when you're doing 90 and you crash it, most of the time you'll still be able to get a few more flights out of it, you know, a few more crashes even. So good luck with this, have fun, enjoy flying. Talk to you later.